Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Diana. Every Wednesday I post videos about boobies and then every Sunday I post blogs a day in my life. Subscribe if you want to see more of me, if you want to keep me around. Let's navigate life together. But now, let's put that aside and let's talk about this bad girls. <laughs> welcome! I don't know about you, but in my case, I've always wondered why my boobs were always so small. Even when I was growing up, I saw all my friends like getting their boobs, getting their period, and I was so late for everything. And today, I am 29 and I still look like this. Why? So if you're wondering why this happens, I'm gonna tell you five good reasons of why this happens to you, this happens to me, and it happens to a lot of women in the world. And no, it's not because you're weird or because you look like a boy or because there's something wrong with you, nothing like that. <laughs> So as you know, or if you didn't know, breasts come in all different shape and sizes. I'm gonna put a little picture in here. So as you can see on the picture, there are many, many different type of breasts. Shape, size, some are like this, some are like downwards, some are up here. There's many different types. Now, the T of this is, why are mine so small? Why is it that my sister has them so large and perky and those angels hanging in there beautifully and mine are just like two little strawberries or maybe not even strawberries two little grapes yeah that's more like it mm -hmm. <laughs> and even though they're different they're all different shapes and sizes always remember they're all beautiful and they all mean the same thing breast the five reasons of why your boobs might be very small or you don't have boobs at all. One, because of genetics. Two, because of your weight. Three, because of your race. Four, because of your exercise and diet. And five, because of where you come from. So one of the things that I found very interesting was that genetics can actually define and decide the shape, the size, even the composition of your breast tissue. It's more dense, less dense. So according to an article published by Nature, it says that breast size is actually very heterable and that a twin study actually estimated the heterability of brat cup size to be a 56.8% which means twins can actually not have the same type of breast. So at the end of the day, if you say, oh, I want this, why is it that she has that and I don't have it? Well, it depends on your genes. Sometimes if you change your diet and sometimes if you gain fat, it might change, but overall, it's not like today you're gonna be an A cup and then you're gonna be a D cup because you started eating a lot of fat, you know? Breasts are a very complex part of your body, but as you know, or if you didn't know, your breast is actually composed significantly of adipose fat, which is just fat. This may mean that people with higher body fat may have larger breasts. But of course, you always have to go back to genetics. Your actual body fat, it's also determined by your genes and your lifestyle. So now let's talk about exercise and diet. If you compare people who exercise a lot and have a very rigorous diet with a person that doesn't work out as much, you can see a very huge difference in their breast size. Because as I mentioned before, your breast is actually made out of fat. So the more you burn your fat by exercising, the less fat you will have in your breast. Now, I'm not a professional, but I could say in my case, I started taking birth control. while taking Taking that birth control, I started to gain fat, but not only on my body, but also on my breast. So I noticed the difference that when my body was gaining fat, my breast was also getting bigger. I stopped taking the birth control and two months later, my body started to lose the fat again, but my breast also did too. So like my whole body started to just burn fat. As I said, your weight can also determine the size of your breast, but I don't want you to think, well, if I gain some pounds then maybe my breasts are gonna grow no I don't think that's how it works because even though I was gaining a little weight it was so tiny the difference in breast size that it wasn't worth just gaining all that fat on my body to just gain one inch of breast so don't overthink about it don't think oh maybe I can eat just more and then just gain some fat and then my breast will be bigger that's not how it works 
Based on your race, your breast size could also vary. But I looked for studies and articles talking about this, but I couldn't find anything that went in depth on the topic. But I did find one showing this map, and it's saying that women in Russia and parts of Scandinavia have larger breast sizes, with the average being larger than a D cup compared to large parts of Asia and Africa, where most women are a smaller or more modest A cup measurement. This one is going back to the race, but this one is a little different. This one is talking about where you come from. So I come from the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic, based on my history, we are a mixed race. We have people from Spain, we have from Africa, but we are mostly Tainos. That's how we call them in Spanish. Our breast size varies a lot, but I've noticed that we don't really have very, very big boobs. You don't really see a D or an F cup very, very often. You do see it though, but it's not very, very common. Just like people from Asia, if you notice, Asians don't really have like voluptuous bodies, like a very fat butt and like huge boobs. Normally, they're more common to be more slim. Now, if you see an African, Africans are more depending on the part of Africa they come from because Africa is huge but you see they're more voluptuous they're mostly like an hourglass and then the United States it's also like very mixed because there's a lot of people coming from everywhere in the world but I found out that the United States has an average of a B cup so again depending where you come from your breast size also varies Last but not least, this one I actually didn't want to mention at the beginning because this is one of the struggles I go through whenever I say I want to have big breasts is that when my mom says, oh, when you have kids, you will eventually have big breasts. <laughs> like that doesn't work. But I've seen people that actually gain some breasts, you know, like once they have babies. But I've also seen some people that while they have their babies, they get bigger boobs. But once they stop breastfeeding, the milk goes away and your body fat goes away. Your boobs go back to what they were before. I don't want to give you hope saying, yes, they're going to get bigger when you have kids. Because that's not 100% true. For some people it works, but for some people it doesn't. So it's not something proven that yes this is what's gonna happen yes you're gonna have big boobs once you have kids you know all right guys so this is everything for me today i hope you found it very informative and that you could take something away from this video i actually wanted to make this video because i myself have very small boobs and whenever i go on the internet to research about it i cannot find many videos about this topic it's like not a lot of people want to talk about it so it's like you know what i'm gonna do it because i struggle with it and i would want to help someone that is looking for information that also struggles with it so I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you're going through the same things. Also, don't forget, if you want to see more videos from me, Wednesdays I post videos about boobies and <laughs> Sundays I post days in my lives and blogs and whatever I'm up to. So if you want to keep me around, subscribe. You're welcome here. This is a safe place where you can comment, we can talk, we can be friends. I will see you on Sunday with a vlog. I hope I can see you around again and I love you. Thank you for being here and that's it. Bye.